what weapons are going to be in Modern Warfare 2. According to the Ghost of Hope, the Intervention and ACR are both going to be returning. Really classic weapons, and this contradicts a previous leak from Ralph, in which he claims that the ACR would not be returning, but these weapons would simply be obtainable via the gunsmith, by combining different attachment combinations, like you could make various different weapons into other weapons inside of the original Modern Warfare. And Hope also claimed that there would be five attachments on weapons. Well, way back in the day, Ralph posted a bunch of weapons that are apparently going to be inside of the game, and this was all the way back in November of 2021, so she'll be taken with a big grain of salt. Of course, some of these weapons could also end up being DLC weapons and might not be there at launch. He claimed that for the assault rifles, we would have the MK47, the DT MDR, the Beretta ARX 160, multiple AK variants. For SMGs, we have the MP5K, the MP9, the MP7, the UMP45, the VZ.61. For maximum rifles, we have the Keltec RFB, the M110, SASS. For shotguns, we have the Spaz 12 and the Savage M24. For pistols, we have the MT Hardballer, the Beretta, and finally the CZP09. For snipers, we have the BFG 50 and the Chaytac Intervention. And we have a Winchester 92 a Lever Action. We have the Browning BLR and the Savage M99. For launchers, we have the RPG 7. And for knives, we have the Crambit, Butterfly Knife, and Combat Knife. And especially for all of the leaks and rumors coming from Ralph, I want to preface it with a huge grain of salt because it seems like he's been very off the mark with a lot of his leaks. I do think he has sources, but clearly there's either some sort of miscommunication going on or his sources are not directly at the company. Maybe it's just word of mouth. He went on to say Infinity Ward seems to be redoubling their efforts behind the gunsmith, featuring a myriad of different calibers, as well as a great many of different grips, magazines, stocks, muzzle devices, and handguards. For weapon inspect, during multiplayer matches, you'll be able to customize your weapon's gunsmith, view stats, etc., similar to Battlefield 2042's live customization option. However, the user interface seems considerably more comprehensive. He also recently said that finishing moves will have both third-person and first-person variants, which allows for more customizability that wasn't able to be in the recent few Call of Duties. 